TOEFL speaking, question number three, explain mental accounting. I have 30 seconds to prepare. I may begin preparing now. Mental accounting is when in a person's mind, they tend to divide their money into two different categories. The first category is for money that is meant to be saved. The second category is money that is spent more freely. The professor gives us the example of the money that he saved from his office job. This was his first mental category. The second mental category that he had was from the money that he made as a waiter from his restaurant job, and he tended to spend this money more freely. Long-term goals, difficulty sets, time. I now have 60 seconds to speak. I may begin speaking now. Mental accounting is when in a person's mind, they tend to divide their money into two separate categories. The first category is money that is meant to be saved. The second category is money that is spent more freely. The professor gives us the example of the money that he saved from the job that he made at his office. This was his first category. The second category that he had in his mind was the money that he made as a waiter from his restaurant job. He tended to spend this money more freely than he should have, according to his own words. And because he was using mental accounting, he didn't save as much money as he should have as he wanted to. The professor's goal was to save up money to buy a home. However, since he was spending money freely due to mental accounting and due to the separate category he had in his mind, it took him longer to save and therefore longer to purchase his home. Had he not been using mental accounting, he would have achieved his long-term goal faster. Time. To get more of this for your 26 on speaking, my Facebook group and YouTube channel are linked in the description of this video. Also, you can see my Facebook group and YouTube channel by going to speaking26.com.